if you don't really look at details, then you're really living life on a whim. And you might miss a lot of stuff. Or you might miss a lot of things when you create. Because, trust me, I, I feel... I look, the way I look at sneakers is a way that an architect might look at houses or buildings, skyscrapers, or a musician can just like pinpoint a certain chord and chord progressions and all this other stuff that is is just deeper than the surface level. So where do I start? I guess I could trace my roots back to when I first started getting into sneakers around high school age. Although my parents did start me off by getting me my first Air Force One in a toddler size like three. It was like a crib shoe, but it was an all white Air Force. And I only reason I remember that is because I have pictures and I still have the shoe somewhere. They kept it throughout all these years, and I think it's, since then I was born. I was born to be uh, interested in sneakers. Might have been a sign. Going back to my parents and how, what they thought of uh, my sneaker collection, and you know when I would bring home shoes, you know they obviously at first thought it was a waste of money because obviously you need your you need your basics of course you need your shoes you need like the basics and you need the necessity but you know at a point it becomes over excessive when you see piles of shoe boxes in my closet but i see it more than that i see it as investment in time pieces and time capsules because just like any collector whether it be pokemon cards uh NBA rookie cards you invest the time into picking up this sneaker putting it in your closet and keeping it there whether you wear it or not um, eventually comes a time where somebody is out there looking for it just like rare Pokemon cards or just like rare cards or rare stuff doesn't matter what field it is just so happens to be sneakers sneakers tell a story if you look at culture in general um i think another main point that got me interested in sneakers is hip-hop and when i started getting into hip-hop is around the same time i started getting into sneakers because I used to just not care about culture. I was very ignorant to the fact that this is all connected in one big organism where hip hop is responsible. Hip hop would not exist without the sneaker culture. I feel as though that, I feel as though that the sneaker culture definitely is paved by the influences that rappers have on people and you know give birth to innovators and designers i'm actually into the culture and i'm not just one of these people that are in it for the profit which is why i don't consider myself a reseller i just tend to sell my collection maybe selling one day selling at a at a store where you know we, we run the culture or like we shift the culture where it's like the sneakers that you wear you make the you make the sneakers hot the sneakers don't make you hot it's more than just sneakers and clothes at this point I feel as though that it's a whole world in itself and being a sneakerhead is just a way of saying that you're part of the in crowd um do I think that it makes a personality itself? No. I think that your taste defines you rather than what you have in your collection. What you decide to to incorporate in your life and create is what makes you who you are. The chase is part of the fun. 
because if you go into a sneaker store right now and you see them on the wall it's just honestly like it's not even it's not even just like a oh i just need every pair of sneaker type of thing it's more of a i need these i need to go find these and the search is on so i think that's where the passion comes from the passion and the hardships that come with it is the the pain that you you endure when you realize that you're not going to be able to get these sneakers the moment that made me realize that i'm in this for life is the feeling i got when i first got my grail white cement three and that's the same sneaker that i saw on kid cuddy the same sneaker that i would see in pictures and i would always want when i finally got it i realized that this this chase is just one of the motivations in life that you know makes me realize if you don't go up and get it you're not going to get it even something small like that but it's an interest and i could definitely put it in my interest where it's just a motivating force um so i feel like that solidified my relationship with sneakers and if it wasn't for that i feel as though that i would definitely be ignorant to a lot of aspects and cultures in different take parts of the world and it's just i guess a gateway for me to listen to people's stories and why they create and it kind of motivates me to be a creator and me personally one of my hardships is to really pinpoint what i want to create but from what i'm studying and from what i'm observing definitely definitely motivates me and i know it's going to hit me one day but whatever happens i know that i can go back in and thank sneaker culture and how it became a part of me it's just not just a sneaker it's steeper than that. Mm-hmm.